one we just got some really really sad news about the potentially releasing iphone 12s now Honestly, like I stated before a billion times, I'm excited for them. I think they're going to be bringing a ton of things to the market, and I really don't have anything to complain about them. I mean, I think they're going to be tremendous phones, but there was one specific thing, and first of all, I just got this yellow color too, whatever this is. I'll let you, or this is the rose gold. I'll let you guys kind of bask in the glory of this thing, because this one looks really, really good. This is potentially what the iPhone 12s could look like, as you can see, flat sides, and it feels just as good as it looks in the hand. Now, here's the issue, okay? I think the iPhone 12s, like I stated, are going to be great. They're going to be awesome. But there's one thing that has really thrown me off about this, and a ton of people have reported it yesterday and the day before, I think. And that is actually coming down to the battery size. Potentially, the iPhone 12s could have a smaller battery size than the current iPhone lineup. Now, I will say, we are supposed to be seeing a smaller iPhone 12, you know, the 5.4 inch model. Basically, the iPhone SE, the original one reincarnated or something, I don't know. And I think that's going to be great. I think that's fine and dandy. If that has a smaller battery, it makes total sense because it is a smaller phone. But when you have a phone like an iPhone 12 that is the same size as the iPhone 11, why would you decrease the battery size in that? If you're making it a little bit thicker and a little bit different of a shape, I mean, here's an iPhone 11. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but when you have something like a flat side versus like a squared off side, it seems to me that you actually have more storage right there. You know, you have more storage or you have more space when it comes down to it, you know, because this is curved. It's kind of cutting off a little bit with the squared off design. It seems like you're having a little bit more. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm saying. So I think something like an iPhone 12 could potentially have more space to build a bigger battery. Now, this is all hearsay. Nothing has been determined yet, and we've seen in the past, you know, with the many, many years of us doing these things, we've been totally wrong sometimes, but sometimes we've been right. And it's not unheard of for Apple to go and decrease the size battery of one year and then increase it the next year. You look at a phone like the iPhone XS, even the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, even the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, like those phones technically had smaller batteries than the years before, and you can keep going back and back. And, you know, Apple's not the only one who does this. But if you're going to go ahead and change the design, if you're going to go ahead and redesign it, why decrease the battery size? That is one of the most important things that a phone has. I think the screen is still going to be great on the iPhone 12. I think the camera is going to be awesome. But why would you decrease the battery size? You know, that does not make any sense. Imagine if Apple next year said, okay, you know, we are making our phones less powerful. Everyone would freak out. Everyone would do that. But something, for some reason with the battery life, nobody ever freaks out about it. Or people freak out about it, but the companies don't. You know what I mean? They think it's okay. Imagine if next year Apple said, okay, our cameras are getting worse. Or our phones are less premium. We're going back to plastic or whatever. You know, I don't know. The possibilities are endless, and if those things happen, people would freak out. But with the battery life, phone companies just feel comfortable of just saying these things. Now, Samsung has been pretty good recently, I'll tell you. They were kind of weird in the past, but recently they've been pretty good. Apple is one of those companies that is either going up or going down. It's always like, you just never really know. So, in my opinion, the biggest detrimental factor with the iPhone 12 would honestly be if Apple were to go and decrease the battery size. We already know it's going to be more powerful. We already know it's going to look really good. We already know it's going to feel really good and the camera's going to be great and all that stuff. But the biggest problem is probably going to come down to the battery life. If they decrease the battery size, that's going to be pretty sad in my books. I'm still going to buy all of them, but it's still going to be kind of sad in my opinion. I think the colors, hopefully they keep this rose gold because the rose gold looks really, really good. This black one does look pretty good too. I don't really think it's that bad. I'm just kind of so used to having, like, I had so many black phones in the past. I like the rose gold one. My 11 Pro is rose gold, but the design is killer. I like this design a lot. It feels really good in the hand, but I really hope they don't mess it up with the battery life. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.